Hi, so uh, today we'll be doing uh, my grandmother's homemade bread recipe. The um, reason why I'm doing this is because uh, I just want to show people some easy meals that you can make lots of food with for really on the cheap, which could be important to have a kid or in general. So it's not really exactly related to raising a baby, but good stuff still. Um, so this white bread recipe actually will let you make, uh, it says five to six loaves, but I've gotten up to ten loaves out of this. So. Uh, we're gonna start from now. So it should take you about uh, probably about three hours to make if you do this, but there's lots of gaps in between. So first step here is you gotta add four cups of lukewarm water. Now um, I think this is where a lot of people make mistakes. Uh, when you make get lukewarm water, make sure it's the same temperature as the room you're in. Like you can't feel the difference when you put your hand under the water. Um, I think. People say bread is really hard to make. I don't find it that hard to make, but I think it's because maybe people kill off the yeast uh, with their um, not proper temperature water. Uh, next thing we do is we'll add uh, two teaspoons of white sugar. Um, now uh, this is uh, going to be food for the yeast, and uh, there we go. And. Uh, three tablespoons of yeast. Uh, I usually just get traditional uh, active dry yeast. Um, I don't know why, but I've always had trouble with the instant yeast, so I just use traditional. About three tablespoons of this. There we go. And then we mix it all around. water and then you just let it sit there for spoon in there. Just leave it sit there for 10 minutes and then we'll come back. So see you in 10 minutes. Hi, so it's been uh, actually a little bit over 10 minutes since I last talked to you. I got a lot of sidetracked doing something else. Um, anyways I'll come here show you what the, uh, the yeast here should look like after about 10 minutes or more. Um, your yeast should have a nice uh, kind of fuzzy look to it, uh, bubbling all up. Yeah, if that hasn't happened, uh, you're probably better off um, going out of start again. Um, your mistake probably was is that you'd have bad yeast, but the first two things to check would be either you had too hot of water or too cold of water. So, anyways, uh, at this point we had a half cup of vegetable oil. Um, I'm using canola oil, but it's all the same to me. I'm sure somebody will tell me different, but uh, I don't notice a difference. There we go. Half cup of vegetable oil. And two cups of warm water. So this water here is a little bit hotter than lukewarm, but not hot water. Um, hot water will kill your yeast again, so warm water. Alright, um, so we uh, mix that together. Um, all that happens here is now it looks like a oily, not clear water. Alright, so uh, next thing we do is we add, uh, have to add 10 cups of flour, uh, 1 tablespoon of salt, and 1 half cup of sugar. So what we'll end up doing here actually is, uh, for mix the first thing in, and is we'll add, this is uh, just normal white flour right here. Uh, it doesn't have to be too exact, because uh, the last step in the uh, recipe says, Add extra flour to the white consistency, so, which uh, I will show you. Okay, so I have two cups of flour thereabouts. A tablespoon of salt. Um, I know somebody might say, "Well, could you take the salt out to make it healthier?" I suppose you could, but then you want to eat your bread in a few days. 
the salts there to help keep uh, keep the bread from going bad, to my understanding. And half a cup of sugar. And what I'll do is just try to make sure that we don't have pockets of pure salt or sugar there. As, uh, this first cup that I add to the thing, I'll actually mix these dry ingredients up together. Um, if you like, you can make a whole separate bowl with the 10 things of flour and then add that all up to once. Um, but uh, I've done this many times and haven't had any major problems, so I wouldn't be too concerned. So then I'll just take this, add it to the wet mixture. So here's my first two cups of flour. Understood, um, they might actually try to pour that onto the table and eat that. That's, uh, that's not a good idea. Um, so, what I end up doing is uh, I keep adding cups of flour until uh, an extra two cups, I guess. That's how sticky it is. Keep adding flour until it becomes not a sticky glob. So something that you know won't stick directly to my table, cause trouble. As you can see here, it's starting to get a little bit more dry. Uh, still a little bit sticky, but uh, the fibers are helping to dry it off. Now uh, the amount of flour you end up having to add uh, varies very much depending on the day. Um, I'm not sure what drives the change in the amount of flour required. Might be how sloppy I do the wet ingredients, which is probably a factor, but also I think include that as probably the uh, um, ambient temperature in the room, um, the uh, you know moisture in the room, uh, that can probably an effect on how much flour is needs to be added. So for me, this is still too sticky for uh, to put on the table. Stick in your hands, you can always just add some flour to your hands, or back and forth really fast, and the red dough will come off. And this will help prevent other dough from sticking in the future. As you see, the end of the recipe where it says add extra flour. It's not an understatement. I mean, a lot of extra flour is needed some days. And this is why sometimes I get 10 loaves of bread out of this recipe. Sometimes even more, rarely. Alright, so it's still a little sticky. But, uh, start trying to squish around with my hands to get the uh, rest of the flour in there. So uh, you can see there's still flour. It's looking a lot more like dough. But uh, I can still tell with my hands that it's sticky. So what I do is I knead the bread first inside the bowl until I'm certain that it won't be too sticky to put on the table. 
and after that I'll get a good uh, good go on the uh, actual bread. Eating it directly on the table here. Uh, the table we're using here is uh, actually I bought it at IKEA for I think like 60 bucks or something. Uh, I had a house before here that uh, didn't have any counter space, so I uh, figured this was worth the investment. Alright, so I think we're okay there. So what I'm going to do is in fact get a cup of flour and put it right directly onto the table here. And this on. Move this around. Don't worry that all that flour will end up either going on the floor, which we won't use again, or into the bread. Um, if you got somebody help, yeah, um, and you only got one big bowl like this, um, normally they come by and rinse and clean it out because we're going to put the dough back into the bowl because uh, you need to grease it and stuff uh, to let it rise for a few hours. But since uh, Linda's upstairs with Lucy, I will be doing this myself after, so 